Hey lovely sexy hobby people, welcome to this video which is Warhammer Stormbringer issue 50. It's two paints, well it's it's a paint and some texture paint and a texture tool. So let's get this open. Now this was open at the bottom. So let's just do that. So one texture tool, well come on to that. I don't rate them. Well they're okay but you know. Right, let's have a look at the magazine. Do, 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 do. A Mercurial History. Grung Knees Gifts. After the God King Sigmar freed Grung Knee from his chains during the Age of Myth, the Smith God turned his attention to the lands of Shimon. Or Camon. Still haven't decided which way we're going with that. He created many wonders, including great cities, the world hath, and uniformly straight god-wrought isles. To each of Grungni's worshipper clans, a different island was given to make their home, and great civilizations flourished in the lands that were made for them. But that was not the end of Grungni's gifts. As he laboured on his creation, his breath mixed with the ash from his forge forming clouds of a substance that is now called ether gold. This magical material is highly sought after to this day for its alchemical and technological properties and it is key to the Caradon Overlord's technology. So there you go, coming of Zinch, forging unions. Right, here we go, what have we got? Basing technique. In this guide, we will look at how to add details to the bases of your models using spare bits. So yeah, we've got a lot of spare bits left over from bits and pieces. From various stuff. And essentially all they're doing is just going, they're just gonna talk about how you can use them to decorate your bases and the such. But it's a nice little thing to include. Certainly didn't have something like this in Imperium. So cool. Yeah, there's going to be a few little tips and tricks in there that are going to be quite good. Quite handy. One of the things I noticed with the Sylvaneth Arch Revenant, the big bugger, um, was there were lots of little bugs and stuff on that sprue, um, which was great. I have kept that. It's talking about Agrel and Earth, which is one of the paints that we get, and it's very similar to the Martian Earth, where you layer it on and it cracks. That's cool. And then just obviously how to do it. And then going over painting bases here. So quite a bit on sorting your bases out and painting and stuff like that in this issue. Realm Scout, Fury of the Forest, Battle Plan number 10, Purple Section. Alliance of Order, the forces of order have been alerted to an attack on a soul pod grove, driving the branch witch protector away. A detachment of available troops has been hastily gathered and are being led by the branch witch back to the grove. If they win, Order will secure the sacred soul pods and will scatter the destruction troops. If they lose, the soul pods may be destroyed and the destruction army will remain in the forest. So, army list. You will be taking the Branch Witch, Ulthari's Guardians and five Vindictors. And then from option one, either the Arch Revenant or Ulthari. Or from option two, either five Tree Revenants or five Spike Revenants. Alliance of Destruction, 
The forces of destruction have taken a soul pod grove and expelled the resident branch witch. A small force remains to repel the Order's hastily arranged counterattack. If they win, the destruction forces will be able to destroy the generation of Sylvaneth, sorry, destroy the next generation of Sylvaneth warriors. If they lose, a valuable detachment of troops will be lost along with the ground they were aiming to secure. Loon Boss, Sarbak's Kiss and Marsh Crawler Slogoth are what you will be taking. And then from option one, you can take the Fungoid Cave Shaman or Zarbag. And then from option two, you can either take Molog or five Boing Rock Bounders. You're going to be using all three of your battle plans. The Destruction Territory is in the middle and the Order um, Territories Deployment Zones are going to be on each of the short table edges. And then there's going to be three objective markers going diagonally across the Destruction Territory. And an Ian and Eve's playthrough. Hey, look at this. Oh, yeah, we get a Caradon Overlord dirigible suit in issue 52. I'm looking forward to that. Bloom Boss on Giant Cave Squig, issue 51. Endrin Master with dirigible suit, issue 52. Looking forward to those two. Come down and let's have a look at the paint that we got. So we got Dawnstone, so this is um, a layer which is often used for edge highlighting, um, black in particular. And then the um, Agrelin Earth. I've only used like the Martian stuff before. Uh, it's the same stuff but red. Um, and uh, yeah, it dries and then obviously you just dry brush over it. Texture tool. Now, the texture tool is great, but it would have been nice if it was made out of metal because trying to get a dollop, a reasonably sized dollop of texture paint on your texture tool to put it on the base. I mean, you can see that this is bending quite a bit. Um, once it's on there, it's great for pushing it around uh, and getting into the small gaps so you don't get... Uh, paint on your painted mini but um, getting it out of the pot um, I prefer to use an old dental tool flathead dental tool that I've got um, and that works a lot better but yeah there you go that was that issue hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video all right take care bye bye